China will soon hand over a new six-story parliament building to the government of Zimbabwe's president, Emerson Munangagwa. Located about an hour's drive from the capital, Harare, China provided a $200 million grant for the building built by a Shanghai-based government-owned company. Reporters asked Kai Libo with Shanghai Construction Group about concerns that China may have bugged the new building. He reacted this way. <laughs> we are, you know that Zimbabwe and China are uh, all with uh, friends. As you know that a uh, friend will not do such kind of things to, to your friends. The government of Zimbabwe will uh, authorize the security department for a special examination for this. China has been accused of bugging the Africa Union headquarters in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, a claim that Beijing has denied. Authorities in Zimbabwe downplayed concerns about a foreign firm constructing the new parliament. From my own experience and the, our observation from the way we started up to today, I'm not, uh, I'm not worried of anything. Uh, but uh, that's why we said uh, curiosity kills a cat. Let the media come and see for themselves. And maybe they may pick one or two things which they think is an anomaly. Alexander Rosero, a politics professor at African University in Zimbabwe, says Beijing and Harare may have friendly ties, but eavesdropping in Zimbabwe's parliament building presents a serious threat. Now to have that kind of uh, institution, that kind of infrastructure fully, wholly donated uh, by the Chinese, I think it should also lead us to wonder in as much as where will this take us to in terms of our pride, in terms of our dignity, and in terms of our much affinity in the notions of sovereignty. Zimbabwe's president has repeatedly praised China, saying its investments in the country have bolstered Harare's independence, and government officials say the country is ready to leave behind the old colonial era building. Columbus Mafunga, for VOA News, Mount Hamden, Zimbabwe.